Thanks for joining us tonight for your news at 11. I'm Randy Aldridge and we begin tonight with breaking news in the world of college basketball. Earlier tonight, UNCW Athletics announced that CB McGrath has been relieved of his duties as the Seahawks men's basketball head coach, effective immediately. WWAY Sports Director Tanner Barr joins us live from campus with more. Tanner? Yeah, Randy, I'm outside of Trask Coliseum now where, as you just said, you know, UNCW just a few hours ago informed their players and staff as well as head coach CB McGrath that he was no longer going to be the head coach of the UNCW men's basketball program. This firing comes in a midst of a 11 game losing streak for UNCW men's basketball. That's the longest dating back to the 2013 2014 season, which was under Buzz Peterson. This past Saturday, UNCW fell to in-state foe Elon on the road by 17 points. And with today's news, the McGrath area officially comes to an end with a 26 and 58 overall record over the past three seasons. This year, the Seahawks were off to a five and 14 start, which included winless inside the Colonial Athletic Association. Rob Burke will take over the UNCW men's basketball program for the remainder of the season. He has been named interim head coach by UNCW Director of Athletics Jimmy Bass. And so this is going to continue to be an unfolding situation. What is next for the UNCW men's basketball program? And a lot of questions will have to be answered now here in the next coming months and coming days to see what UNCW does next here, Randy. In the future, so let's talk about that. What's next after the firing of McGrath? Well, you know, right away, Randy, it's seeing how the UNCW men's basketball team is going to respond because they've got a couple of really tough games coming into Trask Coliseum. That starts on Thursday night as they welcome in the Hofstra Pride. How is this team going to respond? Are they going to come out and play inspired basketball? We know that Rob Burke is now the interim head coach for UNCW men's basketball. How will they play? How will they look underneath him? It should be an interesting vibe inside Trask Coliseum on Thursday night. And then obviously, you know, they as they said, begin that national head coaching search and see really what is next, what direction do they want to go in their next head coach. So that's going to be kind of what is going to be happening here over the next couple of weeks and in the coming months and a, a bit pretty big decisions coming for UNCW and which direction they want to go trying to get back to where they were once were winning conference championships. And Tanner, you mentioned they're looking for a coach. Any word yet on uh, maybe are they floating any ideas, any names, anything that you heard about who might be next? Obviously, it's still really, really early in that coaching search, Randy, but you know, anytime a head coach is fired, there's obviously, you know, a few guys in the back burners that they may have their eyes on when it comes to who they might want to be their next head coach. You know, last time they were looking for head coach, we have to go back to 2017. CB McGrath was also in there. A guy like Joe Dooley, who's now at East Carolina. And a name that we might want to keep our eye on, Takeo Siddle, who was an assistant for CB McGrath here at UNCW. He's now an assistant at NC State. Keep an eye on that name, but still a lot's going to be able to unfold here in the next couple of weeks before we have a decision on that. And we're kind of in a crucial part of the season. Have they given any kind of timeline on this? Well, we are in a crucial part of the season and knowing men's college basketball hires, nothing will be made official until after the season. So the Seahawks will play the rest of the year under interim head coach Rob Burke, and then they will go from there. But right now I'd say, you know, maybe just keep your eye on seeing who the Seahawks might be interested in, some rumors floating around here and there, but I don't expect anything until at least the regular season has wrapped up and so they can begin that interview process with maybe some coaches that are currently interviewing us around the country. So we'll have to wait and see. But for now, reporting from Wilmington, Tanner Barr, WWAY Sports. Randy, back to you.